Most people take water for granted. There is more to the process of getting water to our homes than turning a tap. It all starts back here, the hydrological cycle. The sun heats the ocean's water, causing evaporation. Water is also given off into the atmosphere by plants and trees through a process called transpiration. Clouds appear as the sun turns back to liquid by condensation. When the clouds become saturated, water falls back to the earth in a form of precipitation, as rain, snow, and hail. Water falls back to the surface and becomes streams, rivers, lakes, and oceans, or it becomes absorbed by the soils. This process is called infiltration. Water not absorbed by the soil continues down to join the water-saturated zone, referred to as groundwater or aquifer, by a process called percolation. This water is accessed by wells. Evaporation, transpiration, condensation, precipitation, infiltration, and percolation make up the hydrological cycle. A community's water source can also be from surface water. Surface water is more subject to contamination than groundwater or aquifers by runoff from farms, contamination by wildlife, or industrial pollution. It therefore requires more treatment than water from a groundwater source. Surface water usually requires several types of filtration to remove sediments and some types of bacteria. Both surface and groundwater are then disinfected through the process of chlorination. Water is then pumped to the reservoir for storage in case of peak demands, drought, or to fight fire. All this happens every time you turn on the tap.